Hi guys, Virtus Education here with episode 3 of the HTML web programming tutorial series. And in this episode, we're going to be getting you to a point at which you'll be ready to start putting content into your website. So having said that, we're going to be finally starting, uh, starting to create some code, writing it down and getting it into our document. However, before we can do that, I want to give you an overview as to how the HTML, how HTML works in a little bit of detail. So let's start off by telling you, uh, that pretty much every single website that you see is going to be made up of a bunch of different tags. So if I go to YouTube quickly and then just go to the source code view, I can show you how uh, I can show you some of the tags which are used. So if I just go into the source and take a look at this, you can see that the website is built up of little tags. For example, up here we've got script tags, we've got link tags, we've got div tags, and so on and so forth. So having said that, pretty much every single item that you see in the website is going to be defined by some kind of tag, uh, whether it's directly or indirectly just linking to something else. So for example, having said that, you'll have tags for images, links, and so on and so forth. So now that we've got that out of the way, there's also uh, some structural tags that you're going to need for your website. These structural tags essentially just give you little areas to uh, write in your information. Uh, if you place information, sorry, if you write your tags into the wrong tags, like sort of areas really, it's not going to display properly. So let's just quickly go over the structural tags that you're going to need for a website. So first and foremost, you're going to have the HTML tags. These are essentially just going to wrap around uh, pretty much everything in your website. And inside of this, you're going to have body tags and you're also going to have head tags. Now, both of these work in, uh, in, in um, you know, completely different ways, as I said before. So what are the body and head tags? Well, first and foremost, we have the head, which is essentially the area which uh, no, nobody will see but the browser. So having said that, only information that you want the browser to see will be inside of this. That would be things like the page title, any keywords for Google search, and so on and so forth. So for example, inside of the head tags, I could put in the title and it'd show up in the top left-hand corner, or the favorite icon, or anything like that. Whereas in the body area, uh, you would put in all the content that you want people to see. So for example, I would put images into the body, I'd put links into the body, I'd put divs into the body, and so on and so forth. So I just so if you don't understand that, just listen to it a couple of times because you really need to get uh, that concept into your head before you can start programming. So once you've done that, uh, once you've sort of figured that out, we'll start creating some tags. Seeing as I haven't shown you how to do any tags yet, I'm going to pretty much tell you how they work. So pretty much every single tag, uh, well most tags in HTML come in pairs. And these pairs essentially just open and close and have some kind of information in the middle or inside the tag itself. So, as I said, we need some structural tags. So, to start off any HTML document, we're going to need HTML tags. So, to make those, just go ahead and use this little open bracket thing here. Type in HTML and then just use the close bracket. And then to close that off again, uh, sorry, and then just to make the second of the pair to close it off, just essentially type in uh, exactly the same. However, before typing in whatever type of tag it is, just use a little slash here and, and then just type in the name of the tag and boom. So I advise trying to keep your code very nice, neat and tidy so it's easier to read and so on. So once we've done that, we've created our very first tags, uh, probably the most important tags, the HTML tags. Now, as I said before, we've also got a bunch of other tags. So let's let's make the head tag next. In the same way I did before, I just use a little open bracket things, type in head, and then after that, I just go and close it off by making similar tags, but using the slash again. Hopefully you can understand this, and once again we're just going to do exactly the same, but we're going to be doing it for the body tags. And boom, hey presto, you now have the structure of pretty much any website. So if you want to recap for what uh, both of these little areas do, uh, just go ahead and skip back to the video. 
So that's pretty much everything you need to know for the structure of the website. Uh, try and ke uh, keep your code relatively neat, neat and tidy. So I'm just going to quickly give you one quick, uh, one more recap on pretty much everything that I did here. So we've got three main sets of structural tags. We've got the HTML tags, which tell the browser how to uh, say what type of document this is and how to display it. We've also got the head area, which will essentially uh, allow the browser to pick up a bunch of information that is not seen by the user. That information being things like keywords, the title, and so on and so forth. Whereas the body is where we're going to have all the content, the stuff that the user will see. So for example, these will be like the links, the images, and so on and so forth. So having said that, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to go over in this tutorial. Hopefully you should now be at a point at which we can start creating content as of the next episode. So thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget, if you haven't picked up everything in this episode, feel free to skip back and I will see you in the next episode.